Hey everybody, Scott Wilkinson here at Cedia Expo 2013. I'm in the Elite Screens booth with Dave Rogers, who's going to tell us about the uh, new screen material you've got. Oh, absolutely, Scott. First of all, thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here. Always great to be in, uh, in your booth. Uh, you always have great stuff. Thank you. Uh, we have a uh, new product here. It's, uh, it's our Dark Star. And uh, actually, we, we have a line of ambient light rejecting screens that we've really been uh, perfecting for the various channels. As you can see, we uh, left the roof at home today. <laughs> yeah, in your booth here, normally you would have it blacked out and Absolutely. a roof on it because you've got these giant lights overhead in the convention center. Absolutely. We'd normally want to get that performance, just get that, you know, the shut best possible out. light, yeah. yeah. Well, this time uh, we're, we're tearing the roof out so that the light just showers in. It'll just wash out most screens. And uh, we wanted to use even a, a good, but not a really high, high end, high performance, high output screen. Uh, a projector, projector yeah. yeah. Um, Which you're using what, stacked Epsons here? Right. So uh, what we did is we used our, uh, we used our stacking processor Mainly um, because uh, when you stack projectors, you can increase the brightness. Sure. But also, and I'll show you in a little bit, we've uh, created a screen that's perfect for passive 3D applications, which ah. is exactly. Ah, so two projectors, one for the right eye, one for the left eye. Precisely. Uh, and this screen then obviously preserves polarization. It does. Excellent. So here's here's the start off one. This is Just stay here. Okay. This one is a... Uh, Three, it, this is this is a, our home theater model. It's a retro reflective. Um, now, what does that mean exactly? Retro reflective. Re retro reflective means when you project on it, that light is coming straight back, ah. the same angle that it came in. Okay. Angular reflective means it's going to be a mirror opposite bounce. When, so angle of incidence equals angle of reflection. Absolutely. Okay. So. Um, with the, with the retro reflective, it's more of a home theater product. People like to mount their projectors low. You can see these are mounted pretty low for a ceiling, uh -huh. and it works in this case. But ideally, this is a, this is your home theater product, and it is excellent at just eating that ambient light. It's a 1.4 gain material, so it really gives you your uh, it really gives you your contrast. Uh, the uh, color temperature is superb, and even with the light raining down, it essentially eats the indirect light, doesn't reflect it, whereas it reflects whatever uh, hits it head on. Head on, right, exactly. So when we, uh, when we put those in, uh, you know, of course, a lot of our integrators were saying, well, it's about time because not enough people are really doing this. Uh, we had another voice come out of the industry from the uh, commercial guys saying, well, we like that and we get that sometimes, we get requests for that sometimes too, but we don't want retro reflective, we want angular reflective. Um, and while you're at it, even though we've already determined nobody likes a dedicated 3D product, people are interested in a product that is 3D when you want it to be. Now so. the problem though with that is that very often a 3D polarization preserving screen will give you other problems like with 2D I mean like hot spotting Absolutely. and high gain problems and Absolutely. so on uh, and how have you avoided that here well what these are the um, dark star in the name I mean it's a uh, it is one of the dark screens you get you know you'll hear terminology like the uh, the dark screens the black screens right what these are these diffusion layers essentially help regulate and kind of uh, even out the return so you don't get that nice gleaming bright spot um, if you took off if you took off the diffusion layers this would be an uncomfortably bright surface <laughs> so, okay very good very good so uh, mainly that's what it does they, the two compensate for okay now in the residential market uh, I know it's difficult to talk about pricing because sure. it depends entirely upon the size Absolutely. and other options uh, first of all, do you do you offer a retractable option on this screen? We are looking into it, and that is the first time we're saying this out loud. Okay, so, here we go. Scoop, folks. Yes. Um, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the material holds up to it. A, a, a lot of times, uh, manufacturers were tempted to just, yay, we can do it, throw it out there. You really need to put it through its paces because if someone gets it, it looks great, rolls it, it unrolls, and within the first year it starts falling apart on mm, you. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you got longevity as well as performance. Right. And that's going to be all over your forum if that happens. It so. is. <laughs> <laughs>
So can you talk at all about pricing or is it just not really rel not really possible the, given the, the wide variety of sizes that one might buy? Well, the starting MSRP is uh, for this one in around the uh, 2000 range. This is a, this a more integrator product. Uh -huh. uh, we are coming out with, um, you know, this uh, in the good, better, best, this is the best. Yeah, right. Uh, so we are coming out with a, uh, a retail version that's also an ambient light rejecting screen, and it is a little bit more of the, uh, the uh, CE retailer friendly marketplace. Right. But in order to have something like this, we really had to tailor make it to exactly what the installers wanted. Got it. Got so it. So when you um, now, when we were talking about the Polar Star, the uh, angular reflective, the three D one, mm -hmm. uh, that one is going to have a nice niche with the home theater that wants that occasional three D, as well as the uh, ambient light screens for the um, commercial applications. Right. Fantastic. So well, thanks so much. This has been great. Oh, thank you.